Test, test, one, two, three. Whoa, that's a little loud. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 one, two, three. I'll set here. Test, 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 test. One, two, three. Hopefully I can be heard. <sighs> I can never tell. Test, test, one, two, three. One, two, three, test, test. That's good.
Test, test, one, two, three, test, test. You got that.
And a very good evening to you, everybody. One more time from Royal Brome Pavilion on the campus of Seattle Pacific University, downtown Seattle. Tom Gilnella here with you one more time as the SPU Falcons get set to take on the Western Washington Vikings in this GNAC women's basketball rivalry game. Falcons are 17 and five overall in the year, coming off a win on Thursday night against Simon Frazier, 68-49. Falcons have played great here at home, oh, seven and one here at, Rome, Bro and here at Royal Brome Pavilion. Falcon. They've won Basketball. by an average of 19 points in those wins. And they're looking to continue their success here tonight against Western Washington. The Vikings have been up and down this year. They're 11 and 12 overall, seven and eight in the conference. They're just two and seven on the road this year. Vikings are in the dark jerseys. Falcons in the white. And we get a traveling violation here early on against Western Washington in the first possession of the game. So the Falcons will inbound from the baseline. Falcons going from left to right offensively on your screen and the Vikings going from right to left. That's how it will be in half number one. And Jay Lee Albert with the ball, top of the circle. Hands it off to Jordan McPhee. McPhee heading to her left. A few steps, goes to the corner. Hollander, deep two, no good. Rebound into the hands of McPhee. And here's Albert with it. Now back left to Hollander, and it's Lee. That's a step to the right now. It's Haining to McPhee. McPhee heading to her left with a left hand. Goes inside, Haining, easy layup. Look, and it's good. Julia Haining puts the Falcons on the board. They lead 2 nothing. On the floor right now for the Falcons, you have Jay Lee Albert, Jordan McPhee, Julia Haining, Courtney Hollander, Lindsey Lee. For the Vikings, you have Lexi Bland, Danny Awami, Hannah Stepanovic, Gracie Castaneda, and Anna Schwake. And a whistle here, and Bland was the last to touch it. She was about to drive to the right. And the foul is going to go on Lindsay Lee, her first personal foul, first foul of quarter number one for the Falcons. Led by head coach Julie Heisey, Vikings led by Carmen Dolfo. A little bit of a bobble there by Castaneda, but Castaneda gets it inside to Stepanovich. Stepanovich had a little bit of a tough time against Albert, but she's able to shoot and score, and that makes it a 2-2 tie. So the Vikings on the board for the first time after that hoop. McPhee over to Lee, and now it's Haining, and now Hollander. Her foot was on the line, it'll be at two, but Courtney Hollander drains it. Courtney Hollander along with Jordan McPhee, two new members of the 1,000 point club for SPU. They achieved that milestone on Thursday night. That ball out of bounds, I guess off of Falcons, so the Vikings will keep it with 19 to shoot. It's the first time ever that two Falcons ever got to 1,000 points career on the same night. And McPhee and Hollander became the 23rd and 24th Falcons to achieve that milestone. And a handoff inside. Now we get a tie up as Schwicky was tied up. And the Falcons take over on offense because of the possession arrow. The officials are Angel Kent, Lee Mullen, and Brendan Lorraine for this game. And now Albert hands it off to McPhee. The Hollander passes left to Lee. Lee looking for a friend, finds Haining, bounces inside, Hollander turns, shoots, right hand, good from the paint. Courtney Hollander scores, and the Vikings, or the Vikings, the Falcons go ahead, six to two now. And here is Awami with it. Awami will take it. And they lose the ball inside, and it's out of bounds. And 
it's out of bounds off the Falcons as we get a couple quick substitutions here. Emma Duff, number 23, 34, Kelsey Rogers in for the Vikings, in for Awami, number 10, and 15, Stepanovich. So this is Duff with the ball. Or beg pardon, this is Castaneda, who then goes to the corner with Duff, and she got it for three, and that makes it six to five. So the Vikings within one. So we continue on early in the first quarter, three minutes in. Albert with the ball, passes from one corner to another basically, and now from the left shoulder shooting the three as Lee can't make it. Hollander's there with the rebound though. And they go inside to Haining, heads left around the defender, can't make the layup, ball out of bounds. Last touch, looks like it's gonna stay with the Falcons. Fresh 30 seconds on the clock for SPU. Here comes the inbounds now. And it's going to go wide open. Albert for three, and she can't make it. It peels short, and the rebound into the hands of Lee, though. So it gets tipped to her beyond the arc. And now here's Haney. Bounces inside. Hollander, turnaround, good with the right hand. Courtney Hollander scores, 8-5. Falcons ahead by three. Good start for them early on here, and now we get a timeout on the floor. 30-second timeout with 6.28 to go in the first quarter. Timeout called by the Vikings. 8-5, Falcons ahead, and we'll be right back. Well, we're ready to pick up the action here following the timeout. They're gonna have to put some time back on the clock on the scoreboard though. Or I guess they had time on the clock for the timeout, but you got 17 seconds up there right now. That's not right. We'll all have to press a couple buttons and fix that. But Falcons ahead here early on against Western, eight to five. They had the lead. Good beginning for the Falcons so far as they look to win their ninth game in their last 11. And also, if the Falcons can win tonight, they would officially clinch a spot in the GNAC Conference Tournament, which is coming up in a few weeks in Anchorage. And, of course, that's just step one for the Falcons as they try to get to the NCAA tournament in the West region in Division II. Now you have 6-10 left on the scoreboard clock. Hawkins, of course, with seven seniors on their roster. So, and of course, they have four seniors starting tonight with McPhee, Haining, Hollander, and Lee. So, obviously, they feel like their window to make some hay is right now. Of course, they have a very competitive top of the gene act to, to deal with here, among other things. As Castaneda gets it, Haining breaks up the pass intended for Rodgers, and that ball goes out of bounds, and the Vikings inbound with 20 seconds to shoot. Inbounds here, and it's going to be a five-second violation, I think. Five seconds on the Vikings. They took too much time trying to inbound that ball. Good job by the Falcons to get that ball back. Now here comes Albert. 
Hands it off to McPhee. McPhee over to Haining. Haining. Hollander and McPhee trying to switch off, but they have a hard time doing so. So Haining gave it to Albert. Now it ends up with McPhee after Hollander gave it to her. Now there's a three for lead. No good. It's short. Rebound. A little bit of a collision there between Haining and McPhee, it looked like, and it got in the hands of the Vikings. Back the other way we go. It was Rodgers who got the rebound for Western as McPhee pokes it out of there and it's stolen away by Albert. Outlet pass now, caught by McPhee. McPhee goes up high off the glass, too strong, handing the rebound, kicks it out to Albert. Now Hollander for three, no good. Rebound into the hands of Duff. So the Falcons, yeah, well, there's a bad dribble there by Bland. It's stolen by Lee. Outlet to McPhee, layup left hand, good off the glass. Falcons up 10-5 to five over the Vikings. Jay Lee Albert gets credit for the assist. But the Falcons right now, they're, they're really trying hard to establish themselves from deep. There's a bad pass out of bounds. Falcons take over as Riley Evans and Erica Bagano check in for SPU. Game for the also we're gonna have a few substitutions for the four, Vikings as Riley well. And number 30, Erica Pagano. well. The Falcons trying hard to establish themselves from three point land, but they haven't been able to do that so far. 0 for four from three-point land, five of eight from two-point land. So far early in this one. And Falcons turn it over here as the loose ball gets in the hands of Bobby Westendorf. In for the Vikings, you have Awami, Amanda Lance, 12, Anna Schwenke, 44. And for the Falcons, you have Evans and Pagano in for Haining and Lee. Eight to shoot now, seven. And a kick out here. Two seconds, one second, they lost track of the time, but now they throw it up with the Wami and she can't make the three, ball goes out of bounds. Last touch off the Falcons as they can't corral the loose ball rebound. So the inbounds coming up here. And now, they work it back toward the right side with Castaneda. They throw it inside, layup no good, ball out of bounds, last touch off the Falcons. Layup missed there by Westendorf. And now, looks like Julia Hating will check back in for the Falcons. He checks in for Hollander. Bounce pass coming up here. And now this is Westendorf with it. So Wami and now it's Schwakey. Kick out three point attempt short for Lance. Ball out of bounds. Last touch off the Vikings and the Falcons finally get the ball back. With 3.51 left in quarter number one. Inbounds here as Pagano gets it over to Albert and Jay Lee in the backcourt. Being guarded by Lance, gets away from her across the timeline at least. And now it's going to be Haining. Haining, and now it's Pagano and a handoff here. Evans for three. Got it to go in. There's the first tray of the night for the Falcons on their fifth try, and it's 13 to 5. So Evans has her first points of the night there. Lance with it heading to her right a couple steps. To Duff. And it's stolen away by Evans. She picks off the pass intended for Lance. Evans stops. He's going to give it to Albert. 23 to shoot. They go inside. McPhee fakes, goes up, hacked on the way up. So that'll be the first foul of the quarter on the Vikings. And it's going to go on Awami. And that's obviously her first overall as well. And Jordan McPhee will go to the line. Free throw time for the Falcons. McPhee shooting two, and she makes the first. Couple subs here for the Vikings. Stepanovic in, Castaneda in, Schwake and Awami are out for the time being. One more free throw here. And it's up and good for McPhee. And now Haley Bennett checks in for her. 
So Bennett in for the first time for the Falcons. Now, three minutes, six left to play in quarter number one. Falcons up 15-5. Looking for a season sweep against the Western Washington Vikings. Will be the first time they'd swept the Vikings since 14-15 if, if they can get that done tonight. We get a foul here. And it's going to go on Haley Bennett, her first, team second of the quarter. And as I said, going in, the Falcons 7-1 and one at home. They love playing here at Brome Pavilion right now. They've won here by an average of 19 points. And Duff gave it away to Castaneda. Now she goes left corner to Westendorf. Westendorf heading to her right a couple steps. Westendorf coming in, goes up, no good. Rebound into the hands of Stepanovich, and she eventually gave it up. Fresh 30 seconds here for the Falcons, or for the Vikings. And a short turnaround, no good for Duff, and the Falcons come away with a loose ball. It was Evans who got the rebound for the Falcons. She has the ball right now, gave it to Bagano, now Haney. Now Evans comes in around the defender, goes up and scores. Riley Evans puts it in, and the Falcons up by 12, 17 to five over the Vikings. Great first quarter for SPU so far. Still less than, a little less than two minutes to play. Whistle here as Stepanovich got poked, and she'll be fouled. That'll be number three on the Falcons in this quarter as Hollander and Lee check in, second on Bennett. Pagano now and Bennett sit for the Falcons. Got some Western substitutions to report as well. We'll have those for you in just a moment here. Officially, Awami, Shweeki, and Bland are in for Duff, Westendorf, and Lance on the Vikings side. For the Falcons side, it's Lee and Hollander in for Bennett and Pagano. And now for the Vikings. Three-pointer on the way here for Bland, up and good. Land hits it after the Vikings got a second chance. Stepanovich missed inside and Haining blocked it. Well, the Vikings gave themselves another chance to shoot a three and now Albert tried to take it back on the Falcon end of things but she misses and then she immediately fouls Stepanovich. Now they're on Albert, her first, team's fourth of the quarter. And the inbounds here going to Blant. Land in the front court. Gets it back. Land with 16 to shoot. Now 13 counting. Less than a minute to play, quarter number one. Bland dribbling with the left hand, tries to maneuver inside, she walked. Good defensive pressure by the Falcons near the post. Kind of forced the turnover there as McPhee checks back in for the Falcons. She comes in for Albert. And now the inbounds here, Hollander to McPhee. McPhee with it. Front court, now she passes left to Evans. Now back to McPhee, top of the circle. Now Lee, now back to the left. Evans for another three, no good. It's short. Haining tried to get the rebound, couldn't do it. Ball goes out of bounds. And looks like the Falcons will keep it, and Lee will be the one that inbounds. Fresh 30 seconds for SPU, 39.3 left in quarter number one. Inbounds here, it's Hollander. She comes in a few steps, now she goes back to Haney. And now it's McPhee, passes left to Lee. Lee's gotta find somebody, anybody. She goes left, McPhee tried to go inside to Haney, but it's picked off by Bland. Back the other way we go. And in transition, the layup is good for Castaneda. Falcons may just play for the last shot here, but we'll see. McPhee's going to slow it down after looking a couple times at Julie Heisey. And now we're down to less than 10 seconds in the quarter. 17-10, Falcons ahead. Open look, three-pointer. Evans, no. Rebound, loose. Haining had it. She got knocked over, no foul. And that's the end of quarter number one. So 17-10, the score after one quarter. The Falcons never trailed in quarter number one. They led by as much as 12. But it's a seven-point game after 10 minutes of play. We'll be back for quarter number two in just a moment.
Okay, ready for quarter number two here from Royal Brome Pavilion. 17-10, Falcon women ahead of Western. Falcons have never trailed as the Vikings are the first inbounded here, put the ball in play. And the Vikings in the dark jerseys, dark blue, Falcons in the white. Vikings going from right to left on your screen, Falcons left to right, and there's the three-pointer for Castaneda from the top of the circle. So that makes it 17-13, and Castaneda now with five points here in this first half. Lee with it, makes the pass, and now she goes back to McPhee. Now Lee again. Heads to the left, now it's McPhee. To Evans, now left corner, coming in Hollander, just flips it over to Pagano, and Pagano from the paint is able to put it in with the right hand. And it's 19-13, Pagano on the scoreboard for the first time in this contest. 19-13, Falcons ahead. And a fake here, coming in and out, kick out. Awami kicks it back to Bland. And a bad pass intended for Schwicky goes out of bounds. Falcons take over as Albert checks in the game for Evans. So now on the floor for the Falcons, you have Albert and Lee and then Pagano, Hollander. And last but not least, you have McPhee. And now here's Albert. And as she threw that ball behind Lee, miscommunication there as the ball goes out of bounds. Lee cut in the wrong direction. She went to her right when she should have gone left. And substitution here as Bland checks out of the game. Duff checks in for the Vikings. Duff, 23, Awami 10 with the ball right now. Shweki 44, Rogers 34. And Duff 23 in the game right now for the Vikings. And that's a bad pass picked off by Albert. Albert hustling in transition to Lee to Pagano. Falcons trying to create something quick, but some good transition defense showing up here for the Vikings. And now a turnaround for Hollander, no good. Rims out, rebound Rodgers back the other way. Here is Duff. Duff, short pass to Schwicky. And a kick out in the three, up and good for Castaneda. And the Vikings within three. It's taken them a while, but they've climbed out of this big hole that they got themselves into in the first quarter when they trailed by as much as 12 to the Falcons. And within three now, and here comes a three-pointer up and no good for McPhee, but the rebound gets in the hands of Hollanders. So the Falcons still cold from three-point land. McPhee kicks out, Albert for another three, and that's good this time. Jay Lee Albert hits it, and the Falcons now lead 22 to 16. Falcons now just two of 10 though from three point land. From two point land, they're seven of 12. So you wonder if they gotta, maybe the plan should be get some more high percentage shots here. As the opportunity from short range for Schwicky with the left hand's no good. Hollander scoops it to Albert now, passes left. McPhee fakes, comes in, and the ball goes out of bounds, I think. She might have had a heel out of bounds, no foul called. And now we get a foul, or not a foul, but a substitution here as Carly Ratosh, 32, checks in for the Falcons. She comes in for uh, Hollander here. First time Ratosh has entered the game. For the uh, Vikings, you have Bland and Stepanovich in for Awami and Rogers. And you also have Schwakey checking out of the game as well. And here's the inbounds as it goes to Castaneda. Castaneda coming in left hand, kicks out. Three pointer for Bland, up and no good. It's short. Rebound, it's a scrum, tie up, Falcons should have the ball. It, it is SPU ball on the possession arrow. Again, Bland and Stepanovich in for the Vikings for Awami and Schwaki. That was the last substitution they had. Now here is Albert, short pass to Ritash. Falcons up by six, trying to add on to their lead. Lee takes a step to the right. 
And now gets it back. Now it's Albert. Albert coming in, back to Lee. Lee shot for three, no. Rebound into the hand. Oh, and taking it away was McPhee from Rogers. But I think we're gonna have this go the other way. They call it jump ball, even though it wasn't joint possession for very long, and the Vikings get the ball this time. Tough break for the Falcons. Here's Duff with it. Duff having a hard time against Albert, and uh, Lee gets the steal, and then she gets it out to McPhee. Two on one break. McPhee will try to do it herself, even though she could have passed it to Albert, and McPhee is fouled. And a foul here going on Duff, and that's going to be her first personal first team of the quarter. And now it's free throw time. McPhee to the line. First shot up, good for her. And it's 23 to 16. Substitution time now. Awami is in for the Vikings. She checks in for Duff. Second free throw coming up here for McPhee is going to be good. And she'll come out of the game now as Hollander checks back in for the Falcons. 24-16. Falcons still haven't trailed in this half. Up by eight right now as Bland takes it across the timeline. Bland coming in, hands it off to Rogers. Rogers kicks out to Bland. Bland with 16. Bland coming in, kicks out, leaping catch, Castaneda. Castaneda comes in, from one corner to another, Awami to Bland, and now they go inside, layup good off the back iron for Stepanovic. And it's now 24 to 18. Stepanovich is four. And now here's Albert over to Ritash. Shot for Hollander for three, no. Rebound tip, nice job. Well, Pagano had it for a moment. Now they'll call it tie up. And the, air, or the arrow favors the Falcons. Arrow favors the Falcons this time around. Haining's gonna come in for the Falcons now from the scores table, as will Riley Evans. And now Ratosh checks out of the game. And Lee will check out of the game. 5-12 left until halftime. 24-18. Inbounds here to Haining, and now it's going to be Pagano. Now it's Evans to Haining. Kick out to Albert, comes into her left. Bouncer here, Haining takes a deep two, no. Rebound tipped out of bounds, looked like off the Vikings and Stepanovich, and I think that's exactly what it'll be. Timeout on the floor with four minutes 58 to play, second quarter, timeout with under five minutes to play in the quarter, initiated by the officials. Score right now is 24 to 18, Falcons ahead of the Vikings, and we're back in a moment. All right, ready to pick up the action, it looks like, following the under five minute timeout. Score is 24 to 18. Falcons by six and bobbling the pass is Pagano and it's scooped up by Iwami. In transition now. Stepanovich kicks it out. Now Bland has it. Iwami, touch pass inside. Stepanovich gave it to Bland and she got it for three. Vikings within three now, 24-21. 
Four minutes, 33 left until halftime. Albert playing quarterback. Trying to get away from Bland. And a whistle here and a foul. Foul here on Bland, that's her first personal. Second team. And now Pagano will inbound. Albert with it. Again, direct in traffic, playing quarterback. Gives it to Evans. Evans to Albert, tries the three, and it's way short, but the loose ball goes to Hollander. Ball poked out by Awami, out of bounds. Falcons keep it with 17 to shoot, showing on the shot clock. And now McPhee and Bennett check back in for the Falcons for Pagano and Albert. 4-11 left till half. Inbounds here. And now they go to Bennett in the corner. Ball caught by Haining now toward the inside. Vikings tried to poke it out, and I think we're going to get a foul. Number three on them on in the right quarter. The Number one overall on Rodgers. Inbounds pass. It's coming. It's going to go to Evans in the corner. Evans coming in. Kicks out from one corner to another, and Bennett can't make the three, but Haining's there for the rebound. Can't make the layup, though. And now we are going to get a foul, a loose ball foul, and it's going to go on Bennett, her third. And Julie Haining, uh, Julie Heisey's going to have to think about getting her out of the game as Bobby Westendorf checks in for the Vikings. She checks in for Castaneda. And now here comes Awami with it. Over to Westendorf. Westendorf left side. And she goes inside, layup up and good. More of a runner by Rogers. Either way, she'll take it. And the Falcons now up by just one. Haining. Bennett from the corner, no good for three. And the rebound into the hands of Westendorf. And the Falcons, again, just ice cold from deep. And the layup up and good in transition as Stepanovic scores after getting the feed from Awami. And it's 25-24, the Vikings ahead for the first time in this half. And now here is Evans. And now it's Hollander to Haining. Haining heading to her right. Left hand up, no good, she's fouled. She'll go to the line. Falcons 2 of 15 from three-point land. And they are 7 of 14 from everywhere else. A bit of an ugly stat line to say the least. We get a foul here though on Rodgers. That's her second. Team's fourth. Hating to the line. And it's going to rim out. So it remains 25-24. Schwakey checks in for the Vikings for Rodgers and for the Falcons. Bennett out of the game with her three fouls. Lee checks back in for the Falcons. And here we go with free throw number two. Haining can't make it, so it's still a one-point game as Westendorf gets the rebound. Here comes Bland, having a hard time with it against McPhee, but she gets it across the timeline, is able to hand it to Awami. Awami now to Bland, 15 to shoot. Hands it off. Westendorf with 11 and 10. On the clock against Lee. Going to Schwicky. Now it's Awami. Four to shoot. Three. Comes in, shoots with the left hand. No. Rebound. Tip bobbled around, and it's going to be stolen away by McPhee. Here comes McPhee in transition. Stops. And now a three pointer. Up and good for Hollander. The Falcons finally get another one to fall. And there's a steal as Haining tips the outlet pass. It goes to McPhee. And now. McPhee gets it back from Haining, and we get a foul off the made basket. Haining got shoved. Now let's see what they call this. This could be a two-pointer in Falcon possession. No, it's a foul on SPU. The basket is good, but they say the foul is on SPU. I guess Haining is the one that gets charged with the foul, even though it looked like in real time from the near basket here, above the near basket, Haining got shoved. 
but Haining is called for the foul nonetheless. As Lance checks back in for the Vikings, she comes in for Bland. But the basket does count. Fouls on Haining, her first, team second of the quarter. 29-25, Falcons, a whistle here as Lance handles the ball. And we get a foul on the Falcons. Number three on them in the quarter. As Pagano checks in for the Falcons. Haining checks out after committing her second foul. Inbounds coming. Awami hands it off to Shwaki, and now it's going to be Awami. Shwaki with it, double team, tie up. Western has the arrow this time in their favor. So the shot clock stays where it is at 24 seconds. A minute 44 left in the half. Awami inbounds. Gets into the hands of Stepanovich in the corner. Now heads it to her left. And Stepanovich going over to Lance and now inside to Westendorf. And now a three-pointer by Lance off the kickoff, uh, kick out I should say is short. And the Falcons get the rebound. Here's McPhee over to Lee. McPhee with it. Evans in the corner, shot. No, it was a deep two for Hollander and she missed. And back the other way now. After the Vikings get the loose ball, Weston North with it. And we get a whistle here and an offensive foul. Foul is on Schweike, and that's her first, team's fifth. It's an offensive foul, though, so no free throws for the Falcons this time. For what it's worth, it was McPhee who got the last defensive rebound for the Falcons, and Stepanovich who got the last defensive rebound for the Vikings. And now it's Evans over to Pagano. Pagano turnaround shot blocked by Schweike as she gets it back and hands it off. Awami with it, 45 seconds left in the half. McPhee now with four rebounds for the Falcons. Stabanovich with three for the Vikings in this contest. Schweike with it. Hands it off. Lance gave it to Awami. Nine seconds to shoot. Now eight comes in. Goes up left hand. No good. Rebound going to McPhee. Shot clock is off. Will the Falcons just slow it down? Play for the last shot of the half. McPhee biding her time. Only thing that matters is the game clock. Here's Evans. Lee bounces to Evans and now it's McPhee to Lee. Shot good for three. Lindsey Lee hits it. Time runs out. So the Falcons in a half where they really struggled from three point land to say the least end on a high note. They end four of 17 from three point land but it's enough to help them to a 32-25 lead at the half against Western Washington. So we'll take a 12 minute timeout in our coverage and then come back for some SPU sports news and some first half stats as we get ready for the second half between the Falcons and the Vikings.
Well, welcome back everybody to Royal Brome Pavilion. Tom Gilanella here with you once again from downtown Seattle. Falcons, Falcon women doing a good job right now, up 32 to 25, up by seven. They've never trailed in this game as we get ready for the second half between the Falcons and the Western Washington Vikings. Really quickly though, let's take a look at some other SPU sports news while we have a moment. Nathan Stroyford poured in 17 points, and Coleman Wooten had a double-double of 10 points and 10 rebounds, but fourth-ranked Western Oregon pulled away from SPU during the second half on Thursday night to score a 895-81 men's basketball victory. And right now the Falcons are at Concordia, Portland, and they're losing 15-11 to with 12.57 left in the first half. Still fairly early on in that game. We'll keep our eyes on that as... The night goes on here. Geneva Weinert posted an NCAA provisional qualifying mark in the high jump on Saturday in the Falcon Distance Medley Relay, had a provisional time on Friday at the Husky Classic Indoor Track and Field Meet. And Weinert cleared five feet, six and a half inches to finish third overall. Her height is tied for the 15th best in Division II. The distance medley came through the finish line in 11 minutes, 50.93 seconds, the 10th fastest time nationally. SPU concludes the regular season on Sunday at the UW Indoor Open and competes at the GNAC Championships next Friday and Saturday in Nampa, Idaho. The Falcon gymnastics team is in a meet against Air Force tonight in Colorado Springs. SPU also is on the road next week, facing San Jose State and Sacramento State in Sacramento, the next home meet is on Friday, February 23rd against Alaska Anchorage and Sacramento State at 7 p.m. right here in Brome Pavilion. Finally, the women's basketball team takes its final regular season road trip next week, playing at sixth rank Alaska Anchorage on Thursday and Alaska Fairbanks on Saturday. Both games tip off at 8 p.m. Pacific time. And a reminder, fans, all the latest news on Seattle Pacific Athletics is just a click away at newly renovated SPUFalcons.com. Get all the Falcon sports news that you can't get anywhere else on the day it happens at SPUFalcons.com. Some quick first half stats for you. The Falcons really struggled from the field overall. 12 of 34 is what they shot, 35.3%. Big part of that is because they shot so many times from three-point land and missed so many times. They went four of 17 from three-point land, 23.5%. So from two-point land, they were eight of 17, which is just a notch below 50%. Western, on the other hand, they went 10 of 21 from the field, 47.6%. Five of nine from three-point land, 55.6%. Falcons, though, out-rebounded the Vikings 18-14. They never trailed, or big pardon, they did trail in the first half. Falcons were down for a minute one second in the first half, but the Falcons were ahead for 17 minutes, 52 seconds. Falcons have led by as much as 12 in this game, and they've trailed by as much as one. So the Falcons, they've, even though they've could, could have shot the ball a lot better. They've controlled the game really well, and there's a good start to the second half as Julia Haining makes it with a left hand. Falcons in the white, Vikings in the dark jerseys, the dark blue jerseys. Falcons going from right to left on your screen in this third quarter and in the second half. Vikings going from left to right. Shot from mid-range, up and good for Rodgers. Kelsey Rodgers hitting it for the Vikings. Big part of why Western Washington trailing in this game, by the way. 13 turnovers for the Vikings, just four for the Falcons. Falcons at 12 points off turnovers, Vikings five. And now inside, layup is good for the Falcons as Jordan McPhee hits it, and she's fouled on the way up, and McPhee has 10. Fouled that time going on Castaneda, and that's her first personal first team. And one shot coming up here for McPhee. Up and no good. Rebound into the hands of Stepanovich. Back the other way. Whistle here. And Castaneda had the ball, but it's an offensive foul on the Vikings. Carmen Dolfo 
wants an explanation for that. Foul is on Rogers, and that's her third. Game second of the quarter, and the inbound here going to Albert. And the Falcons on the floor right now, you have Albert, Hollander, McPhee, Haining, and Lee. And now Hollander to Haining, and now it's going to be Albert. And now Lee bounces to Haining. And coming in, going up, and missing is McPhee. For the Vikings, you have Awami Rogers, Castaneda, who is called for the foul, her second. Bland and Stepanovich. Bland, Awami, Stepanovich, Castaneda, and Rogers are the five right now on the floor for the Vikings. As McPhee works from the free throw line, made the first free throw and missed the second in and out and the rebound into the hands of Stepanovich. So still a 10 point game as Awami has it for the Vikings. Bad pass out of bounds intended for Bland. Remember a win tonight for the Falcons would put them in the GNAC Conference Tournament and would also give them a sweep of Western for the first time since 2014, 2015. Falcons came into this game also 7-1 at home. They're in third place right now in the GNAC. So we get a couple substitutions here on the floor. Schwake and Duff in for the Vikings. Owami and Rogers out. Whistle here. And now we get a foul on Bland. And that's already the fourth foul on the Vikings in this quarter. That's her second overall. So that may make the Vikings rethink some things defensively because one more foul and the Falcons are in the bonus as Hollander tries the three misses. Haining swooped in for the rebound, misses the follow up, but he gets, she gets the ball back. And now here's Lee for a, a shot from deep and it's good for three from the top of the circle. Lindsay Lee hits it. She's got six and the Falcons lead it by 13. Castaneda with it. Hands it off Stepanovich. Stepanovich kicks it out to Duff. Duff heading to her left. Duff. She's going to give it up to Bland. And Bland coming in against Albert. Reaching foul here. Shooting foul. And that will send Bland to the line. And it's going to go on Albert, her second. First on the Falcons in this quarter. Westendorf looks like is ready to come back in for the Vikings. And now it's free throw time for Alexi Bland. 5'6 sophomore from Ellensburg. First shot coming up for her is up and rims in and out. And now Westendorf comes in. Bobby Westendorf in for Stepanovich. And now... Stepanovich, well, wait a minute here. Stepanovich has to check back in before <laughs> she comes back in the game. She got subbed out, and then she wanted to come back in for Schweiki. At least that's what it looked like from up here. Here's the second free throw, and it's up and good. And now they can make the substitution. Stepanovich will... Well, apparently Stepanovich is still not yet checked in, so she's got to sit for the time being. Second free throw is good for Bland, though. She's got seven points. Vikings down 12. And now it's going to be Haining inside and rejected underneath by Schwake. Out of bounds. Last touch off. Well, there was going to be last touch off the Vikings, but then they changed their mind. Falcons will still have it. Now Stepanovich in for Schwake. 12 seconds to shoot on the shot clock for the Falcons with 7.04 left, third quarter. Just underway here in the second half as Lee got to find somebody to inbound to, and she goes to McPhee. 10 seconds. Falcons have to be mindful of the time. Seven seconds, six. McPhee for three. Good! <laughs> McPhee hits it from deep. 
second three-pointer of the half hit by the Falcons, so maybe they're starting to turn around a smidge from three-point land. Falcons now is just six of 20 from three-point land, good for 30%. A whistle here and a foul. It's gonna go on the Falcons, and it's gonna go on McPhee, her first personal second team of the quarter. And now Schwicky's gonna come back in for the Vikings. Got Stepanovich coming out. And Erica Pagano checks in for the Falcons as well. She comes in for Haney. And now the inbounds. Castaneda gave it to Bland. Bland to Castaneda. And now coming in with the left hand, throwing it up is Duff, no good. And the follow-up, no good for Duff. And here come the Falcons after they get the rebound underneath. It's Lee who got the board for SPU. McPhee tried to kick it out, and it's stolen by Bland. And with three Falcon defenders in front of Bland, she's just going to slow it down and smidge. Gave it to Westendorf, who then gave it to Castaneda, and she hit it from deep. Gracie Castaneda hits it to make it 43-31. to 31. 11 points for her overall as Albert hands it off. McPhee gave it to Lee, and now it's Hollander. Lee, Albert, 14 to shoot. McPhee with it. Hollander inside. Pagano, Lee, three-point attempt. Good! Lindsay Lee hits it. Her second three of the half. And the Falcons lead it by 15. Nine points for Lee. 524 left third quarter whistle here. And we're gonna get a backcourt foul on Lee. Foul on Lindsay Lee. That's gonna be the third on the Falcons in the quarter, second, second on Lee third. overall. And now we got some more substitutions coming. Riley Evans checks in for Riley McPhee on the Falcons side. Lance and Stepanovich check in on the Viking side for Westendorf and Bland. Now the inbounds here. Goes to Lance. 519 left in the quarter. Castaneda comes in, right hand, good off the glass. So that will make it a 46-31 game. 46-33, excuse me. 13 points for Castaneda. Coming in, Hollander blocked, rejected underneath. Loose ball picked up by Stepanovich with her tiptoes as she tries to avoid getting her feet on the baseline. Lance, Castaneda to the corner. And throwing up a wild shot there was Duff. And Duff got fouled. And that will be a foul on Pagano. And that will be her first. As we get a timeout on the floor with four minutes 41 to play in the third quarter. So this is an under five minute in the quarter. Officials timeout. As Pagano's called for her first personal foul, team's fourth of the third quarter. Back in a moment. Falcons up 46-33 over the Vikings. And ready to continue on here in quarter number three. Four minutes, 41 left. 
Foul was called on Pagano right before the official's timeout. Now Duff to the line. She makes the first free throw. And McDuff, six foot sophomore from Tumwater. Second free throw coming. And it's going to be no good in and out. And the rebound into the hands of Schwake. And now the kick out to Castaneda. And she hits the three. So it's a four point possession for the Vikings. And now. It's 46 to 37, nine point game. Western all of a sudden within single digits. And here is Pagano who then kicks it out to Evans. Goes inside to Pagano, to Lee. Bouncer inside Hollander, now she goes to Pagano, shot in, off the back iron. Erica Pagano scores and that gets the Falcons back up by double digits. Assist to Hollander with 4.09 to play. And now we're going to get a foul on the Falcons. Away from the ball, and it's on Pagano, her second. Fifth Falcon foul of the quarter, so that means a bonus situation here for the Vikings. And now it's going to be Schwenke who goes to the line. 6'1 sophomore from Evergreen, Colorado. First shot on the way, up and good. 48-38, substitutions here for the Falcons. Haining in, McPhee in. Lee and Hollander out for SPU. Second free throw coming. It is no good off the back iron. Rebound into the hand of Albert. Back the other way we go. Albert outlet pass caught by Evans. Evans, a little bit of a bad pass, but Haining got it anyway. And now here's Albert. From one corner to another. Evans came in a couple steps. Now it's McPhee. Bouncer to Haining. And Evans going to Pagano, kicks out. Albert tipped and stolen away. They got into the hands of Stepanovic after Schwake broke up the pass. And now Castaneda over to Lance to Schwake. And now a loose ball. Haining had it. And it's still loose along the baseline. Timeout call. Timeout called after the Vikings dove on the loose ball near the baseline. Couldn't quite tell from our angle who it was. We got it back for him and saved possession. But the Vikings call a timeout. Vikings now with two timeouts left in their back pocket. Falcons still with all four of their timeouts. With 3.26 to play in quarter number three. Score is 48 to 38 in favor of the Falcons, and we're back in a moment. Back here with 11 seconds to shoot for the Vikings. 326 left in quarter number three. Score is 48 to 38. Falcons ahead. Inbounds coming. And a quick shot for Stepanovich. No good. Rebound into the hands of Evans. Albert with it. And a little bit of a fake for McPhee. And now from the top of the circle, she goes to Pagano. And Pagano's fouled from behind by Schwake. Free throw time. Foul on Schwake or second, team's fifth. So both teams in the bonus situation. This, of course, is a shooting foul regardless here. So Pagano to the line. She shoots two in the first shot up and good. Pagano now with five points overall. Lance checks out for the Vikings. Bland checks in. And now Kelsey Rogers checks back in for the Vikings. She comes in for Stepanovich. 
And those are your substitutions. 3.14 left, quarter three. And a missed free throw for Pagano and the loose ball grabbed by Schwake back the other way. Blant. Cross the timeline against McPhee. And she goes left. Castaneda, Castaneda. Shot from the right side for three. It's no good for Duff and back the other way go the Falcons. It's Pagano to Evans, three pointer on the way, no good. She had an open look at it though as Duff gets the rebound. It was Pagano who started that sequence by getting the rebound, but the Falcons come up empty. Duff got the rebound on the other end for the Vikings. And now this is Duff heading to her right against Evans. Pass is left. And Bland knocks over Albert and that will be a charge. An emphatic call by the officials. Fouls on Bland her third. Won't result in any free throws though for the Falcons because it was an offensive foul. And some substitutions to report and confirm here. In just a moment as McPhee is being guarded in the backcourt. Gets it to Hollander, and that's how they get it across the timeline. Hollander and Lee are in for the Falcons for Albert and Pagano, and for the Vikings, you have Awami in for Duff. And now Evans with it. 13 to shoot, comes in, throws it up left hand. Can't get lucky, but she's fouled. She'll go to the line for two. With two minutes, three left in the third quarter. Fouls on Awami, her second. Free throw time as it's Evans to the line and she misses the first. So Evans still stuck on five points. Second free throw up and good. And that will make it 50 to 38. Falcons back up by 12. Falcons now just seven of 13 from the free throw line. As McPhee pokes the ball loose, it's picked up by Rogers, but now we get another foul on the Falcons. Personal foul against Jordan McPhee. Fouls on McPhee, and that's her second. Bennett now checks in. Bennett in the game with three fouls. Evans checks out for the Falcons. Or, or no, they're going to hold that thought. Bennett isn't going to check in just yet, but that's going to happen in just a moment here as Rogers goes to the line. First shot up for her and good. And now, back in for the Falcons. now the substitution becomes official as Bennett checks in. Bennett with three fouls. No points for her so far. And the second free throw. Up and good for Rogers and we have a 50 to 40 contest. A minute 49 left in quarter three. Bennett with the ball over to Lee. Finds Bennett in the corner. Coming in from one corner to another. McPhee gets shoved by Awami, and I think that's where the foul will come in. For the Falcons up 10. And Awami's called for the foul, her third. Awami still with no points in this game. And McPhee will go to the line. She's got 14. She'll go to the line for two. First shot up and good for her. Falcons up 11. McPhee now with 15 points to lead the Falcons. In for Western number 12, Amanda Lance. And as Lance checks in for Awami on the Viking side. Second free throw for McPhee. Up and good. She's got 16. She's the only Falcon in double figures right now in terms of scoring, although Hollander and Lee each have nine points. And now we have Lance over to Blant. And now she gave it over to Castaneda, and Castaneda in the paint. Gives it over to Lance. Comes in with a right hand, can't make it, but she is fouled as this quarter is really been bogged down by foul calls and bonus situations here. Fouls on Bennett, her fourth, so I would think Julie Heise is gonna pull her out of the game again. And now it's free throw time as Lance heads to the charity stripe. First shot up and good. 
And now it'll be Albert who checks in for Bennett. So Julie Heisey will save Bennett for later. And the second free throw up and good. And it's now 52 to 42 with a minute 16 left in quarter three. Here's Albert. Gets across the timeline against Bland. McPhee. Right side, now Hollander. Haining inside. Lee kicked it out to Hollander, and now it's Albert. Albert to Lee. Eight to shoot. Albert bounces here to McPhee. Four seconds, drives right, goes up, scores! Jordan McPhee puts it in. She's got 18 points. Falcons up by a dozen. Here's Bland. Hands off to Lance. Lance with 35 seconds. Play in the quarter. Now it's going to be Castaneda. Castaneda, right side. Passes left. Nice job by Bland to shed the defender, but she misses the three. It's Lee who gets the rebound, and we go back the other way. Shot clock is off. Falcons can wait until the last second if that's what they want to do with this shot. Nine seconds as feet get tangled. Albert went down along with Bland, and we get a foul on Bland, and that's her fourth. Bland with seven points right now for the Vikings. And off to the line is Albert with 9.4 left in the quarter. Albert will shoot two. Albert right now with three points to her name in this ball game and the first shot on the way up and good. 55-42. Pagano in for McPhee on the Falcons side. For the Vikings side, we have Stepanovich and Duff in for Bland and Schwake. Second shot up and good for Albert again. 56-42, 14 point game. Coming in is Castaneda. Castaneda left hand, fouled on the way up. Two more free throws coming up with 3.4 seconds left in the quarter. Boy, thankfully, the, at least in the women's game, they've gone to quarter, so these foul totals will go back down to zero in 3.4 seconds. This has been a long quarter in terms of foul calls and free throw situations. First shot up and good for Castaneda. Hopefully they make that change in the men's game too in the next few years. Castaneda now is 17 to lead the Vikings after that first free throw. Second free throw is good as well. So now she's got 18, 12 point game and ball goes out of bounds. So the Falcons have it still with 2.9 to play. And Pagano inbounds, goes to Lee, got to hurry. One second, and she doesn't throw up a shot. At the end of three quarters so of that's the end of the third SMU quarter. Falcons up by 12 as we get ready for the home stretch here. Score is 56 to 44 with 10 minutes to play, and we'll be right back. Well, that was a long third quarter as far as free throws are concerned. The Falcons went 7 of 11 from the charity stripe in that quarter. 
And the Vikings on the flip side, they missed four shot, or they missed three shots and they made nine. So they went nine to 12 from the charity stripe. Foul totals reset to zero now as we start the fourth quarter and Rogers posting up, turns around and scores and that makes it a 10 point game. Still time for the Vikings to climb back in this one. Falcons hoping to prevent any kind of late game miracle here. Here comes a two point attempt and that's up and good. Courtney Hollander with her toe on the line makes it from two point land. She's got 11 points now to get into double figures. And it's 58-46 and another short turnaround by Rogers is good on the Vikings side of things. Kelsey Rogers puts it in. That makes it 58 to 46. And 58 to 48, excuse me. Pagano turn around from the paint. That's good. So both of these teams, they've we got a little bit of a shooting touch to them as we start the fourth quarter here. 68, 60 to 48 now in favor of the Falcons. Falcons now shooting 43.8% from the field, 21 of 48 overall. Vikings 16 of 32, 50%. Rodgers kicks it out and coming in from the free throw line is Stepanovich can't make the layup. Good job by Haining inside to provide a bit of a presence in the post. May have forced a miss there. Wild shot by Pagano, missed there, and the rebound goes to Rogers. On the other end, it was Pagano who got the rebound for the Falcons, and now it's Stepanovich on the follow-up shot for the Vikings who misses, and she's fouled, and she'll go to the line. Fouls on Haining her third. First foul of the quarter for either side. Timeout on the, on the floor, timeout called by the Falcons with eight minutes, eight left to play. Falcons by 12, Vikings can get within 10 with two free throws when we return. Ready to continue on here following the Falcon timeout. Falcons with three timeouts left. Vikings with two, eight minutes, eight left to play. Free throw time, first shot for Stepanovich is good. And that makes it 60 to 49. Vikings trail by just 11 now. Stepanovich, 6'1", senior from St. Louis. And she makes the second free throw to make it 60 to 50. Jordan McPhee has re-entered the game for the Falcons for Julia Hayding, and she got the inbounds pass, and now she takes it across the timeline with a weave to the left. And she cans it off quickly inside to Pagano, misses, rebounds to Ponovich. Back the other way, this is Lance. Lost the ball, McPhee poked it free, gets it. She's on her knees, but she rolled it over to Stepanovich, who heads to the left uncontested and scores with a right hand. 60 to 52 now, Vikings within eight. And a timeout again called by Julie Heisey. So Julie Heisey not liking what she's seen off the Falcon timeout. Vikings very much in this game, only down eight with 7.36 left to play here. 60 to 52 the score and we'll return in a moment.
Ready to continue on following the Falcon timeout. And a loose ball and it's stolen away. It's stolen away by Stepanovich. And now after a fumble, she gets it back. And here's Dup. And now a three-pointer for Castaneda. Good! Five-point game with 7.22 to go. And all of a sudden, this is too close for comfort for the SPU Falcons. Here comes McPhee. Whistle here. Foul on the Vikings. That's number one on them in the quarter. And number three overall on Castaneda. Vikings have won this quarter so far 11 to four. And they are very much back in this game. Even though the Falcons have led for almost all the way through. McPhee got it in the foul somehow, some way. Off the glass and in. Jordan McPhee hits it to put the Falcons back up by seven and she's got 20 points now. Foul that time on Castaneda, her fourth. And now McPhee. After hitting off the glass, can't make the free throw, but the rebound goes to Hollander. Lead to Albert now, and now it's McPhee coming in. McPhee throws it up, and she somehow got it in again! Jordan McPhee just willing shots in here, and it's a nine point game. McPhee has 22, and the Falcons basically get four points out of that possession. Falcons try to poke it free from Castaneda and McPhee couldn't do it and she's charged with the foul. Her third, team second, would imagine with just 635 left that McPhee will stay in. Inbounds pass, no substitutions imminent for the Falcons and it goes to Stepanovich. Stepanovich. McPhee got her hand on it, ball goes out of bounds. 26 seconds left on the shot clock. Inbounds here, ball in play to Lance. Directing traffic, and Lance heading to the right against Albert. Inside layup is good for Stepanovich as she slides right through the middle of the paint. Seven point game, Stepanovich is 12. And now here's Albert, six minutes seven. Left to play, Hollander to McPhee now. Pagano, Albert, Pagano, McPhee kicks out, a fake, Albert to Lee, to McPhee, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, McPhee throws it up, no. Off the side of the glass and out, they force a tie up. And the arrow favors the Falcons. That was a great play by McPhee to keep possession alive for the Falcons. And Riley Evans now checks in. McPhee checks out, even though she's red hot and active right now on both sides of the floor. I would imagine McPhee's rest will only be brief though. Seven point game. Bouncer to Pagano. Hollander, three, got it to go down! Courtney Hollander puts it in. She's got 14. Falcons by 10. Rogers, right hand scoop is good. Off the glass, 67 to 59, eight point game. For what it's worth, Western Washington in this game. They've only led for one minute, one second, and their largest lead was one. The Falcons' largest lead in this game was 15. With 5.37 to go in the third quarter, and we get another three here for the Falcons. Hollander hits it again. The Falcons making shots when they have to here in the fourth quarter to pull away from the Vikings. They've led for 33 minutes, three seconds and counting and they appear to destined to keep it that way the way they're going right now. A whistle here though, and we're going to get a turnover here charged to Albert. I guess Albert didn't take it across the timeline fast enough. 
as Schwake and Bland check in for the Vikings. Stepanovich and Castaneda check out. Bland with the ball now right side. Bland over to Lance. They work it to Schwake. Tries to kick it out. This could be over and back, but it's not. Duff with it. Nine seconds. And turn around right hand scoop, no good. Rebound goes to nobody. Falcon ball though after the foul. It's gonna be on Duff and that's her third. Or that's her second, excuse me, team's third. And now Jordan McPhee, Julia Haining check in for the Falcons. And Albert and Pagano check out. Castaneda checks in for the Vikings, Duff checks out, and now here's McPhee. Four minutes, seven left. McPhee coming in, 11 point lead. Falcons trying to get rid of any and all hope of a Viking comeback here. And Haining kicks it out, Evans for three, and she hit it! The Falcons were ice cold in the first half from three-point land, but they're red hot now in the fourth quarter. Evans with nine points. Timeout Vikings. The Falcons are up now by two touchdowns over the Vikings. And they're now 10 of 25 from three-point land, 40% after starting out basically in the 20% range in this first half. And they're now shooting 26 of 56 from the field, good for 46.4%. So the Falcons on the cusp of sweeping the Vikings for the first time in three years. Three minutes 41 is all that remains. Falcons up by two touchdowns, 73 to 59. Riley Evans, meanwhile, on the cusp of joining some other Falcon double-digit scorers in this game. Right now you have McPhee with 22, Hollander with 17. Evans and Lee each have nine for the Falcons. As SBU looks to put the finishing touches on this one and stamp their ticket to the GNAC tournament coming up in a few weeks in Anchorage. Falcons after this game go on the road. They take on Anchorage and then Fairbanks on the road again. And then they come back home for Western Oregon and Concordia of Portland and that's it for the regular season. And obviously they hope getting in the GNAC tournament, that'll be step one towards getting in the NCAA tournament as Castaneda misses the three. Coming away with the loose ball is McPhee for her seventh rebound of the night. Handoff here to Lee. Over to Evans, top of the circle. Gives it to Lee, Lee coming in, kicks out, and coming straight through the middle of the paint is McPhee, and she scores, and she's got 24 points. Lee the assist there. And it's a 16 point game. Great closing surge for the Falcons after they started out this fourth quarter a little bit cold. And a foul here on Haining against Rogers. That's Haining's fourth. Hawkins may want to take her out of the game just in case something weird happens and they may need Haining for later. Awami is in for Lance on the Viking side and now a whistle here. The ball goes out of bounds again. Falcons for what it's worth, two timeouts left. Vikings with one. Inbounds here, Awami is going to go to Castaneda. Castaneda kicks it out to the corner, Bland for three, no good. Rebound out of bounds, the last touch off the Vikings. With 2.42 left, Pagano checks in. She comes in for Haining. Haining with four points for the Falcons tonight. Along with four rebounds, five assists. And it's Lee with a long pass to Evans there. Evans to McPhee. And now Lee, 14 to shoot. 
Pagano. Hollander, another three. Nope, wide right. Rebound into the hands of Awami. Awami for three. That's good. That's her first bucket of the night. And the Vikings are going to need a lot more where that came from if they're going to have any kind of chance here. Two minutes left. 13-point game. Lee with it. Passes right. Evans for three. That's good. Riley Evans did it again. She's got 12. Vikings trail by 16. And Bland with it now. Hands it off. To Awami to Shwaki. Gets to Bland from Rogers. Awami. Bland. Broken up out of bounds off the Falcons with a minute 29. Substitution here. Emma Duff in for the Vikings. In the game for Castaneda. Evans checks out. Albert checks in. Evans is likely done it for 12 points in this game. Nice effort by her coming off the bench. There's a three-point shot. No good from the corner for Awami. And the rebound going to Hollander. And she's got to get it across the timeline now. And they get it across with a pass to Albert and then a pass to McPhee. Evans in this game, for what it's worth, went three of six from three-point land, made three trays in the fourth quarter to help her finish with 12 points. And now a loose ball, a scrum, one minute left. Albert scoops it up. Lee with it. Hollander. Albert, as the Falcons just lead this clock. Falcons passing up on some open three-point shots. They just want to watch this clock bleed. No over and back. And a blocking foul called on Bland. With 41.7 left. Fresh 30 seconds coming up for the Falcons now as Castaneda checks in for Bland. Bland's out of the game with five fouls. Bland finishes the game for the Vikings with seven points. Two assists, one rebound. 41.7 left. Falcons with a win are going to go to 8-1 and one at home, 18-5 and five overall, and 12-4 and four in the GNAC. They came into this game tonight in third place behind Alaska Anchorage and Northwest Nazarene. Falcons, of course, still play Anchorage. They'll play them next week. And the Falcons with this win are going to go to the GNAC tournament. And they'll hope from there, obviously, to be able to do enough to get themselves into the NCAA tournament. They're certainly playing quite well. This will be the Falcons' ninth win in 11 games. So we see a foul here called on Awami, her fourth. Pagano's first free throw went up and in. Eight points for her. Second free throw coming up for Erica. And it's going to be good. For the Vikings, they're going to be swept by the Falcons. They're going to go to 2-8 and eight on the road as they try to get into the GNAC tournament themselves. Still a couple weeks to go for them to do that. They came into tonight in sixth place, one game ahead of Concordia. And they are 11 and 13 overall now with this pending loss, upcoming loss, 24 seconds away, seven and nine in the conference. And now here comes a three pointer for Duff. No good from the top of the circle, gets it back, kicks it out. Awami for three, no good, way short. Loose ball, Pagano. Falcons are able to get it to Albert, to Hollander, and she's trapped, and that's the game as she gets it across the timeline. Falcons win it, and they sweep the Vikings, 80 to 62, as they punch their ticket into the GNAC tournament. Falcons. Make 11 three-pointers tonight after starting ice cold from three-point land. 11 and 28 is what they finished with. They end up going 28 to 60 from the field, 46.7% for them. Also out-rebounded the Vikings, 36 to 26. Not too shabby at all. As, Julie, as Jordan McPhee and Courtney Hollander led the way with 24 points and 17 points respectively for the Falcons. Quick check of the men's score before we adjourn here. 
Falcon men, of course, playing against Concordia right now. And with 11.58 to play in the first half of that game, it's Concordia 18 and the Falcon men 13. So hopefully the Falcon men can pull that game out eventually. Obviously still very early in that contest. But that's it from here from Royal Brome Pavilion. Until next time, a couple weeks from now, this is Tom Gilanola saying good night here from Seattle. Falcons win over the Vikings 80-62. to